the purpose of this session is to deep dive on the, the, the creme CO2 risk assessment and particularly on its, uh, on its update. Uh, and then we'll sh also show you how this can be integrated into the, the, the deep key tool. Uh, deep key and the creme have uh, agreed to enter into a partnership. Uh, the idea of this partnership is to uh, first uh, exchange and share experience on the challenges that uh, uh, real estate players are facing, particularly on the on the carbon uh, challenge. And uh, the idea of this partnership is to is to tighten the links between both institutions and to make sure that uh, we can uh, together better un uh, answer the challenges of real estate players who are focusing on decarbonating their their portfolio. On what what CREM actually provides, we are the in-use benchmark globally for um, operational decarbonization targets in the industry. And we basically provide two aspects. One is this sort of green line, the decarbonization pathways uh, for different countries and uh, different use types, uh, which are 1.5 degree aligned for the decarbonization pathway of, for instance, office in France. And we are providing that for 1.5 degree and 2 degree. And uh, besides the carbon intensities, we are providing also energy use intensities. Uh, that was actually originally just an add on because we needed also to have some sort of benchmark for what we had in mind. And uh, we wanted to have a tool available for the industry, a freeware actually, where you can uh, input your building's carbon performance uh, data and get some analysis out of that. You can see here just uh, as an illustration that um, the property's carbon performance is benchmarked against the decarbonization pathway and that leads to this red uh, circled point where we uh, say that basically the property is exceeding the um, uh, 1.5 degree aligned a Paris aligned decarbonization requirements. And in that, uh, at that point in time, we are claiming that the property is sort of stranded because it's exceeding this target figure. Um, we are looking at the uh, whole buildings emissions. Uh, that's important because of course, there are a lot of regions where market participants are still struggling to get their hands on tenant data. Make sure you are collecting whole building data. Otherwise you're not in a position to benchmark. Otherwise you don't have a holistic view on your property. So that's a very important point. What are the benefits using our resources? I think the main issue is really getting the data right. The more market participants are actually thinking about um, decarbonization, thinking about having the right ESG KPIs, the more they dig into the details of uh, the data and the more sophisticated market participants are, I think it's, it's urgent. There's an urgent need to to have your uh, ESG data and especially data related to decarbonization. Um, if you look at the overall picture of decarbonization, I guess we all get lost somehow because there is a new initiative, potentially also competitive with DeepKey. But I think it's it's important to um, to take a closer look what are the real relevant uh, initiatives and activities here. And you see that there are, of course, a lot of frameworks uh, and um, in the end target setting, which is our topic here. Working and joining forces with SPDI has been uh, a great success for us. We learned a lot. Uh, as you know, SPTI is sort of doing this company target validation and uh, we are setting targets on the property level. And that was basically also the main reason why we thought it might make sense to team up because um, there is no competitive situation amongst uh, these two organizations. They are just synergies. Uh, what's the uh, CREM update and the uh, timeline for that? Uh, as I said before, we'll start public consultation. We, we have the due diligence done by SPTI on what we have been producing. Uh, important for you, maybe also, uh, we have in former times used um, IPCC and uh, Friends of the Earth data for the overall global budgets. Uh, we have switched that now to IEA data alignment, uh, which is important for many market participants. Um, what we wanted to share with you um, uh, after this presentation by, by Sven of the of the CREM, um, uh, the CREM pathway and the CREM approach uh, in, uh, in general is how uh, at DeepKey we've been integrating uh, the CREM pathway into, uh, into, uh, into our tool. So, uh, the basics of DeepKey is um, uh, a collaborative SaaS platform. The journey that we are making with our client is the following. We start with 
setting the baseline, but we need to collect data to have real data to know where we are starting from. Okay, that's the moment when we need to compare uh, that baseline, that uh, actual situation with um, uh, objectives or references. So that's the inside part. Then we need to find a pathway uh, to reach that target. So that's exactly when um, the, the CREM pathway play um, a central role in, a, in, a, in the tool as a reference for, uh, for using uh, this, uh, this pathway. 